Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mao here and today in this video we are going to take a look and review the latest Ishin video goggles that you have been waiting for and these are right here in my hands. This is the Ishin VR D2, the latest video goggles from Ishin. Ishin has been releasing a number of video goggles and I have reviewed previously the VR 700 and the 800 video goggles which were 7 inch LCD screen and one of them was equipped with the uh, DVR as well. But the thing is those all had the single video receiver. Ishin VR D2 is equipped with a dual, that means a diversity video receivers, two video receivers, 5.8 GSZ, 40 channels. So that means you are gonna get the better video reception because they will be automatically switching to the strongest signal. And that is the benefit of having the diversity video receivers. So these are 40 channel 5.8 GHz auto switching diversity video receivers in Ishin VR D2. And not only that, it is also equipped with a built-in DVR that can record uh, videos up to HD. Okay, so now you will be able to record your raw FPV video or flight footage using the goggles right away. So this makes Ishin VR D2 one step ahead of those previous Ishin goggles they have released and also it is much better clarity, I mean higher resolution LCD screen. Remember it is only 5 inch LCD screen. Now what other features are there? Let's take a look at those features right away and also take a look at the video goggles right away. Inside the box, this is how it's packed. Well, let's take out everything. We have a wall outlet. We have uh, two antennas. One is the patch antenna. It's a 5.8 GHZ 6 dBi. Mm, nice. Another one is a simple clover leaf or mushroom antenna. Then we have the actual goggles inside. Okay. And we also have the user manual and some wipes. Once again, these wipes are not to wipe your... Uh, <laughs> these are to actually wipe your goggles clean or the uh, lenses of the goggles. Alright, nothing else. Now here are the video goggles and it also comes with a Lie Ion 7.4 volt 2200 milliamp battery that is enough to power your goggles for a long long time. Now, let's take a quick look at the goggles itself. So, here are the Ishin VR D2 goggles in my hands. Let me add the antennas right away. Okay, there's your patch antenna. And here is your mushroom antenna. And after that, this is how the goggles look like. Now, on the front side of the goggle, you have a digital uh, LED display to show you bands and frequencies. And you can also change the channels and frequencies using these buttons. These goggles are missing the auto scan feature, but using these two buttons, I can quickly lock on to any frequency I want. Okay, after that, you have the uh, left, right, and stop, or left, right, or center button, which is the DVR control. So you can actually press and hold this button to record, start recording or stop recording and you can press and hold this button and then uh, in the middle there's a stop button to play your DVR recorded footage. You will see it uh, sounds kind of complicated but we will see how it works very very soon. And you have a power button, menu button which actually sets brightness, contrast and similar or very few of these options. And after that you have a cam or DVR. This means you can switch to DVR or switch to your live video as you like. When you are in DVR you can still watch live video but it has a kind of uh, lag. It's laggy when when uh, you are actually flying and recording at the same time in HD. Alright, at the other side which goes on your face and on your eyes, first off you see an adjustable headband so you can adjust it to fit all kind of head sizes and after that uh, you have a very comfortable foam around here so that it will sit on your eyes and won't hurt your face. 
However, I found that this area is very big on my face. I have a small face, but it's still this area is very big and a lot of light actually comes from under uh, this area causing some uh, reflections sometimes. But anyway, I can do something about it later. Inside you have a 5 inch LCD screen. Also you have the sliders at the right and at the left side right here. So you, you can actually use these sliders to, uh, you know, move the lens forward and backward in order to adjust the focus according to your eyesight and your eyesight comfort. I found it to be very useful because for me, all the way, sliders all the way back, it works very well. For some eyesight, it, it might take uh, sliding forth and back to adjust to your comfort. All right, so which is very nice to have a focus. Now, uh, let me remind you, because this is a five inch video goggles, okay, LCD screen video goggles, so they are comparatively smaller than the ones uh, seven inches LCD screen goggles that I have reviewed. So they will not make you look like an alien wearing something really huge on your face. Basically for people with a small face like me, these are really, really nice and comfortable on my face. And they are only 294 gram heavy and with antennas and battery, you just add a little bit more weight on it. So basically they sit very comfortably on the face. Now let me put them on and show it to you how I look like. So this is what I look like from the front side. Let me slide down a bit. Okay. And this is my this is my right, I mean I turn right and you're watching at my left and this is, you're watching at my right side. So, so you can actually see these goggles do not look really big and huge on your face but one thing that I worry about is people with bigger face, how are they gonna wear it and what would they be feeling with it. Right, now it's time we turn the goggles on so you can see how the image looks like inside and how clear it is. Okay, so I'm gonna power uh, this FPV system right here uh, on the airplane, then I can pick the airplane up so you can see how things look like. Right here, power on, that's it. Okay, now let's go to the goggles and you can see uh, my body because uh, the plane is just showing my body. Let me focus inside more and I hope we don't get much of the uh, reflection I will have to hold it like this probably and put it here one moment bear with me I'm trying to adjust everything properly okay so this is how the image looks like now hey what's up man how are you all right so now you can see me here all right and there's my little uh, plane a600 and my messy messy room Okay, so now if the plane is flying inside the room, this is how you're going to feel. Oh, you're going to hit my head, all right? So you can see the image is basically very, very clear and very nice. All right, now let me give you a quick demonstration of other features, all right? So I will press another button. Uh, the, so I will press the cam and DVR button. And you can see now this is a DVR screen, all right? And you can actually press and hold the right button. Where is it? All right, now it start recording. As you can see there, down there on the screen, uh, the record icon is blinking and red numbers are actually going. So the counter starts in red. And now you can see that there is a little lag in uh, image quality or image transmission, but hey, you can still fly because it's a plane, it's not a very fast one. But if you are flying the proximity, hey, camera focus please. If you're flying the proximity, I wouldn't recommend. Uh, you can always quickly go to uh, your live video feed and now you have no delay at all. So now you can fly as you like and your video keeps recording. All right, then you will go back to the uh, DVR and press the right button to stop recording. All right, now your video footage has been recorded and you are ready to watch it again. All right, this is the menu of the DVR. All right, so you can see we have size, we have record sound and uh, video recording time. And you press and hold the middle button once again and you have more 
options for formatting the memory card, um, video frequency, reset, blah, blah, blah. All right, press it. Uh, sorry, I don't want to uh, format it. Press and hold, and you are back to your DVR footage. All right, I will press this button, and it says one moment because it's loading from uh, the card. All right, I believe this was the video we shot. I'm not sure. And you can actually play the video. Come on, camera, focus. All right, so now you can see the video is being played. Let me play one once again. All right, here you can see your playback of your video recording, DVR. Later I will record the flight footage and I will post uh, the flight footage uh, using the DVR. I hope I can fly today. All right, so basically you can actually watch your footage right away in the video goggles. Okay, now let's get back to the live video. All right, so let me stop recording here. All right, so that's it for the indoor video review of Ishin VR D2 video goggles. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you is that these are 800x400 resolution 5 inch LCD video goggles. Uh, which is actually speaking pretty clear, uh, almost HD footage, almost HD clarity in there. Uh, well, now next, you all know what we need to do now. I will bring the Micro Sky Hunter FPV and enjoy some fixed wing, micro fixed wing FPV or proximity FPV today. And at the same time, I will be able to record the footage, my FPV flight footage, using the built in DVR and bring the footage for all of you to watch and enjoy together with me. So stay tuned and yes, once again, thank you very much Ishin for a nice consideration and bringing us a video goggles with diversity video receivers and a built-in DVR. Now we are not gonna miss any of the flight footage or our FPV flight footage. Having that micro FPV aircraft, we cannot actually put the HD cameras. So having a DVR is really, really very useful. So thank you very much once again Ishin for bringing us such a nice video goggles. Highly recommended, everything works perfectly right outside the box and they are very, very affordable. Enjoy and it's time for me to prepare, go for some fixed wing, uh, micro fixed wing FPV adventures.
the video. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the coolest and regular RC videos, RC shows, RC reviews, Hamlet's videos, and much more. Thank you very much for all your support. More videos are coming. I gotta eat this cord maybe. <laughs>